Hi, um, I just wanted to do a, a quick review of the uh, brand new um, Acer Chromebook. Um, this is the Acer C720 um, and specifically I wanted to look at the UK model um, which this is. Um, it looks the same as uh, any of the other models um, around the world but when this uh, Chromebook was first announced um, and first launched in the US, first became available in the US, it was a 4 gig model. Um, and when it was shortly or very recently released in the UK, um, it is now a 2 gig uh, model. All the other specs, I believe, are, uh, are the same, but half the RAM. And interestingly, um, I've seen it opened up underneath um, uh, the US model and it's uh, sold, the RAM soldered, there's no slots. Um, however both PC World site in the UK, that's the uh, the store that's selling it, uh, and Ace's own website claim that it is 2 gig um, upgradable to 4. Now I suspect that's just a mistake but it does seem a bit bad if the manufacturer themselves have the specs wrong on their website. So at some point I am probably going to open it up and have a look inside to make sure. But annoyingly, um, if there is no RAM slots in there then there's nothing else really that I can upgrade. And there is a warranty seal over one of the screw holes and I can't... If, there was, if you could definitely upgrade the RAM I could probably get away with opening it and say look you can't um, you can't stop people upgrading the RAM on the laptop and not on the warranty. Um, I suspect they would probably honour it anyway, um, because if because I'm not sure if that's allowed technically. Um, but I guess if there's no real reason to open it, maybe they could say, "Look, it's not user serviceable. What we've been doing, poking around inside." Anyway, um, that's not really the uh, the purpose of this review. So um, I originally ordered a HP 11 um, when they were launched because I thought the specs were good and I thought it looked great and I loved the idea of it charging off USB, thought that was brilliant. Um, however when this was announced I more or less straight away cancelled my order. I mean I wasn't as happy with the looks of this however when you actually look at it it's it's really really nice. Um, and <laughs> it's funny I think all the reviews I've read are all comparing it to the uh, HP 11 and all kind of saying, oh it's not as nice, oh the keyboard isn't as good as my MacBook Air, um, all these kind of things. Honestly, there isn't a single thing on this laptop that I don't find excellent. I think, especially for the price. Um, it's around $250 I think for the 4 gig in the US. I think this 2 gig is 200 quid, 200 pounds in the UK. Um, but the retailer that's offering it, uh, the Dixon Stores Group, so Curry's PC World, um, are doing a £20 cashback, so you're looking at 180 for this, and it's just a phenomenal price. Um, do the classic opening a laptop with one hand whilst holding a camera. Um, as I say, people have complained about the keyboard, I quite like it. There isn't a lot of travel on the keys, I'll give you that. They're, they're quite, there's not much to it, they don't go very far, but perfectly nice, I really quite like it. The trackpad, it's fine as far as I can see. Um, the, somebody who said it doesn't seem sensitive enough, I mean I've been using it all day today, no real problems at all. Um, the screen is fine, absolutely fine for me, I've got it turned way down at the moment um, just to eke some more uh, battery life out of it. Um, that's my work monitoring screen. Um, and it's absolutely fine. And the battery life is just phenomenal. I charged this uh, yesterday, so when I came home from work it was plugged in charging. I took it off charge, used it on and off all evening. Um, I then took it and put it next to my bed because I'm on call for work this week uh, in case I need to do anything in the night. Um, so it was on standby by my bed all night, uh, not shut down, just the lid shut, so you know, whatever you want to call it, sleep, standby. Um, I did have to use it briefly uh, about 5 in the morning for about 5 minutes um, then it was put back um, I then took it to work uh, with me when I got to work opened it up it was just still sleeping used it pretty much all day at work okay so if I wasn't using it for uh, over lunch I did I did close the lid 
um, just put it back to sleep but generally I just kind of left it on my desk with the screen on um, the screen does go off after a set amount of time which I don't think you can actually change which is interesting um, and then I've now been home for probably an hour um, which I was using it to play music for 20 minutes whilst I cook some food um, in the kitchen I can't quite ever go um, and I still have 37% battery left um, which according to that may even be five hours now I don't think it would be five hours because if I was actually going if I was actually using it uh, doing some stuff I think that would drop um, but honestly the battery life on this thing is just incredible um, there we go 419 you know it's just dropping a little bit I reckon three hours possibly um, out of that easily um, which is just incredible so I'm looking at over nine hours battery life probably now obviously for those nine hours half the time it's been sat not doing a great deal but the screen's been on the Wi-Fi has been on um, I've had uh, pages that have a lot of refreshing data on there like this it's dynamic it's a dynamic page that updates constantly um, so it's pretty impressive um, and honestly I can't find a single thing that I don't dislike about it um, it is stunning absolutely stunning for the for the cache um, honestly it, it's got to be the best Chromebook ever released when you consider the price to performance ratio um, it's super fast not had any issues now I'm not I've not been opening 20 tabs and really pushing the RAM uh, kind of boundaries on here um, but I don't need to I, I, I'm not I'm, I'm not likely to have that many tabs open um, perhaps there are going to be times where I do and 4 gig of RAM would be nice but let's face it, the you know most laptops that have four gigs of RAM, um, which is probably you know it's fairly standard these days, even on a cheaper Windows laptop. Um, Windows and all the other crap, your antivirus and all the other mindless crap that's loaded on there, is going to take up so much space and uh, in RAM anyway that I've probably got I'm probably no worse off than a four gig Windows laptop to be honest. Um, I've been using it, like I say, all day. Um, I work in IT, I had a quick trip down to uh, our data centre that we use, one of the data centres we use for our kit, uh, just just held it under my arm, it's so light, incredible, took it into the data centre, logged onto the Wi-Fi there, used uh, Chrome Remote Desktop to connect back to my uh, work machine to test something, absolutely brilliant, really cannot fault it, it's silent. The only thing for my personal use would be if it had a backlit keyboard it would be absolutely perfect and that's only because I tend to need to mash at the keys uh, randomly at three in the morning when something goes wrong at work um, but no other laptop I've, I own has one I don't think oh possibly my old really old MacBook Pro but um, first generation but um, you know nothing else I've ever used as either so it's not like I'm really losing out and you wouldn't expect it on a laptop like this um, really impressed with Chrome OS um, so basically go and buy one don't I wouldn't bother with the arm HP 11 yes okay it looks a bit nicer but I've just been stunned by the kind of slightly negative reaction to this in reviews people said oh you know it's, it's 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 good you know it's great it, the performance is there it's great but oh the looks are terrible the build quality is not great uh, the, the trackpad's not great the keyboard's not great the screen's not great all of those things um, I'm so glad I just ignored because none of those things whatsoever are bothering me at all I think the build quality is quite nice um, I mean yeah if you compare it to a MacBook Air that's um, you know machined out of one piece of solid aluminium and all this crap yeah it's not as good build quality it's made of plastic you know but look that's not flexing it's not doing anything it's smooth it's uh, it's well made the inside sorry is solid as well there's, there's okay look I mean what can you see much flexing there not really tiny tiny bit it's it, you know it's made of plastic what do you expect it's really really well made um, for the money um, I don't think you'll find a better laptop for that money anywhere. So, as I say, go buy one. Thank you.